Hello and welcome to Cornish Walking Trails. It's a beautiful day in the middle of October. We're going to go and find some really ancient stones down in Penwith, Menon Toll and Lanyon Coit and incorporate a dog walk as well up to Ding Dong Mine. There should be some views to the sea. Let's go and have a look. Hi then boys, doggies in the car. Are you excited? <laughs> Our first instruction says from the parking area, follow the farm track that leads off opposite the granite building of the Menentol studio constructed in 1882. 10-15 minute walk through a quiet almost lonely landscape to the Menentol stones. That windmill is just going wee! It's windy today. It's the ferry distance is Ding Dong Mine which is where we're hopefully going to end up on our walk. Do you remember when we did this with the kids and they were tiny? I remember the fog clamped in. Yeah. And we got lost, didn't we? And we couldn't even see Ding Dong Mine, could we? We thought, are we ever going to get off this moor? Yeah, and it was really muddy. I got my feet soaking wet. Middle of winter, wasn't it? Yeah, and we haven't been back for years. <laughs> Wonder why. <laughs> it's a lovely walk, really. Yeah, let's hope so. <laughs> Film me, Daddy. I look really cute. Everywhere you look down here, it's full of uh, granite. Now, some of these rocks have been here for hundreds and hundreds of years. So that is the remnants of an old style. That's one lump of granite. Imagine how much weight's in that. Well, it's certainly going to cope with the winds and the buffeting it gets down here, isn't it? These fields are really fascinating. There's three or four of them, just tiny little enclosures with heavy stone walls, abandoned little farmhouses nearby. It's quite bleak down here in winter. Menon Toll is reached by a path through gorse after crossing stone steps to your right. And Ding Dong Mine's just on the horizon. So have you got any idea on what this was for? There is no theory at all. Yeah. They just don't know. That's all we got. We've got a couple of stones over there, but they don't seem to do them very much. And we have this one in the middle that's got the big hole in it. But look, you can line it all up. I reckon it's some sort of fertility thing it's got to be, isn't it? Why fertility? Well, I don't know. <laughs> On the middle of a moor. It's got to be something like that. Something weird. We used to come down here and sacrifice people, I reckon. <laughs> what are you saying? Oh, we were trying to get the dogs to come through. We thought we'd make a really good picture. <laughs> After 15 attempts, they're just not having any of it. <laughs> they're still not following you. <laughs> but I wouldn't rest on that too much because it's been there for donkey's years. I hate to think it would fall over. <laughs> After Visiting Men and Toll, retrace your steps back to the farm track. Turn right to head north once again. A stone style next to a gate on your left is the entrance to a field containing the inscribed standing stone of Men Scriffer. It's as tall as me, taller than me. <laughs> it's not a granite gate post. What are we looking at? I don't know. They're too straight. You don't get straight lines in nature, do you? No. So it's got to be handmade. That's ancient Cornish markings, which say if you can read this, you are lost. Return to the main track, this time turning left to assume the northward route. Continue ahead until reaching a track fork in front of the remains of a granite building. Here, bear right onto a grassy track passing the remains of the granite building, but follow an obvious path across moorland towards the rise in the land ahead. The Ding Dong Mine is distant right. Here, I found out a bit about that men and toll. In the guidebook, is it, my lovely? In the guidebook that we should have read before we did the filming earlier on. It says the men and toll stone was believed to have healing properties. Children with rickets were passed naked through the hole to cure them of their ailment. Even today, people pass through the hole to bring themselves good luck. So there's nothing to do with... Uh, oh, well, you're, you're going to be doused in good luck then. Doused in good luck, yeah. There's nothing to do with fertility nothing then. Nothing to do with fertility at all. <laughs> Path climbs before bearing right to reach the nine remaining stones of the nine maiden stone circle. So I reckon they were four then. Oh, usually there's a, some sort of story about naughty maidens dancing on the moor when they shouldn't have been in it and they got turned, turned to, to stone. stone. 
So I'm really tall, you're really short. I'm Cornish, I'm short. <laughs> Beauty, isn't it? Get on. Been here some time, haven't they? Cornwall at its best. The well-worn path leads from the Stone Circle to the Ding Dong Mine Engine House. St Michael's Mount can usually be seen in the distance as the views open up across Mounts Bay. What can you see? I can see St Michael's Mount bathed in sunshine. It looks beautiful, like a little jewel set in the sea. I love St Michael's Mount. Ding Dong Mine is meant to be one of the oldest mines in Cornwall. It was said to be working at around the time of Jesus, although that might be a myth. Nobody knows why it's called Ding Dong Mine, but it certainly has a fantastic view. All the way down to Mounts Bay. Standing with your back to the chimney at the front of the engine house, turn right and follow a track across a stone stile next to a gate gap. The next instruction says the rough track heads towards the distant farm buildings of Lanyon Farm. Pass over a small stone stile next to a metal gate and follow the track through scrubland before reaching a metal gate and continuing between stone walls. The scrubland that we're passing through has actually got cows in it so I think we're going to keep an eye on the, the dogs, especially down there. There's lots of cows there blocking our passage. We're going to turn it round and go a different way. You're very beautiful, but we want to get by with the doggies. Come on! Oh, he's coming through, Andrew. Go on then. Good boy. Good boy. Well, that was all going too well, wasn't it? Yeah, we were just saying how easy the walk was. The instructions were great, and it was a nice day, and... <gasps> The cows! <laughs> it's a catastrophe. Oh, that has to be the worst. <laughs> we're going to have to move it. Now we're going to have to make it up. That didn't work. That, didn't that, work. Didn't, that really didn't work. Did rubbish, it? No. It? <laughs> Where to now? Well, there'd be a gate there, B. <laughs> okay, so the cows are all up around the gate that we still we need to go through. They're still there. What we're going to do, because they've all left the scrubland, is try and get through the scrubland and we can see a field. If we can reach the field, we've seen cars going around it, and we reckon we can join the road there. Oh, I hope so. Our gamble's paid off. We can see ahead, well, there's the road, which is brilliant, but also Lanyon Coit. So we turned, we bore left at the scrubland, and it's, it's worked well for us. So we've reached the field we were aiming for, and up there is a signpost that's obviously on the road. We know that Lanyon Coit is behind this scrubland, so we've decided we're going to follow this path, see where it takes us. There's Lanyon Coit. It's quite big, isn't it? In 1815, Lanyon Coit actually fell over in a storm. By 1824, when Logan's Rock was also being put back together, and there's a video in our little series about Logan's Rock, which you can watch separately, they used the same equipment to put Lanyon Coit back together. Unfortunately, one of the pedestals, the four legs, it broke and it's no longer used. They didn't quite rearrange it correctly. They put it back so it looked pretty and actually balanced. I think we improved that walk. We did, um, by accident. Yeah. We just sort of stumbled across it, didn't we? Thank God for cows. Yeah. <laughs> Hello, what's your name? Hello. Sorry, shivering. Must be a Frisian. I know, I'll get him a jersey. Stop, because I'm milking it. <laughs> Have you got any other jokes? So the instructions would have brought us down here and joined just up there in front of the bungalow. And there's Lanyon Farm. On reaching the road, turn right and proceed past Lanyon Farm back to the parking area. What I don't get, right, is why Penwith? Why are there so many Iron Age and Bronze Age bits and pieces in fields? And you come down here as a kid for your school trip to Chai Sawster and you always know it's here. Why Penwith? It's pretty. It's a godforsaken place. It's you can't bleak. say that. Some oot toot from St Berrien wouldn't be very pleased with you. Yeah, but it, look at it. There's no trees. There's, there's no shelter. What did they eat? Do they catch rabbits? They're babies. <laughs> 
Our walk today came from Classic Walks Cornwall's 60 Circular Routes. It was number six, Men and Toll, Nine Maidens and Ding Dong Mine. Quick look at the walk instructions. Have a quick look at the map. We started on the road, parked on the road, went up to Men and Toll, went through the hole in the stone, followed the farm track up to the very heights that you could see Mounts Bay, beautiful clear views of, of St Michael's Mount there today. Came down to Ding Dong Mine, crossed through some fields. This is where we think we got a little bit trapped by the cows and we actually headed up to Lanyon Coit. And after we played around at Lanyon Coit for a bit, we came back down the road to the car. That was quite a good walk. That was a good walk. It was a good walk. We made it a bit longer. <laughs> yeah. Than the uh, walk book suggests. To avoid the cows. But yeah. the instructions did work. And it's still usable. And added bonus of being able to get to Lanyon Coit, which is really yeah. pretty. Yeah, yeah. It's a good little walk. I think it's what? a six out of ten. Six out of ten? Yeah. yeah, there's no facilities as though it's quite a long way out. There's no toileting, no cafe. But other than that, good walk. If good use. If you're into your stones and a really nice mine engine out, there's a really good walk.